we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Yeah. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome everyone and those watching on TV. I don't really have much any, any marriage report, but I do want everybody to be aware of on March 12th uh, at 7 p.m. at the Herman Riverfront Park, we will have a community vigil in memory of Detective Sergeant Mason Griffith and in honor of the police officer Adam Sullentrup. So mark your calendars and uh, if you can attend, please do to honor our or officers. So that's all I really have. Okay. Um, as you'll see on your agenda, I put bloggers on, on the agenda, and I did that um, with the purpose of um, public notice, maybe public notice. So there, um, by law, we have to advertise, not advertise, but give a window, 45-day window for public inspection of this report before the Board of Aldermen can take any action on it. And um, so I publicly posted it on our city website and on the Bolton Board out here on February 1st. Um, and so you can go to our website under the government tab, click on that, and at the very bottom of the page is a loggers report, and the whole, the whole uh, report is there. And so the, the, I, we're not going to go through this tonight, but the pertinent information I think I pointed out to you before is like on pages four through seven where it gives the schedules and the comparisons of the prices, and that's really good information. But if you want to review that um, and come back to our next meeting, we're going to have a 6.30, we're going to have a Zoom meeting with representatives from bloggers, and they're going to walk us through this report in detail. And so um, have your questions ready, um, get them answered then. Um, sales tax revenues, at our last meeting I reported that we were down 5% year to date. Well, we got our deposit this month, which represents December sales, and we get our money in February. And now we're 1% uh, over uh, last year. So uh, everybody, it looks like, had a very good December. Well, Wednesday, we will be having um, bid opening for our street repair projects for the spring, followed by pre-construction meetings with the contractors that we just awarded for our sewer pipe relining project and the uh, relocation of the sewer line from the Free Creek Bridge. Um, also got news last week that our our longtime auditor, um, so the lead auditor's name was Tammy, and she had been with Hawk Child and Bloom, which we had for years, and then that company was bought out by Sickich like two years ago. So she is retiring, and they are retiring us with her. Uh, yes, so <laughs> um, we will. We just had renewed our three-year contract with them, and so we will be going out for bid again. And the auditing market is really tight right now. Like last year, I sent out seven propo 17, excuse me, uh, proposals, and only had um, sickage and one other bid on it. So I'm hopeful that we will at least get some some bids on that and um, this next billing the utility billing will have the annual one dollar increase on the gas meter fee now that is something that we approve annually at budget time and we there was an ordinance um, from back in 2018 when we decided to raise it a dollar, it was so it was so low below market, we decided to raise it a dollar a year until it reached 1850 and then we'd reevaluate. So it's currently 1450 and it'll be going to uh, 1550 on this next bill. And again, that's the gas meter fee. And um, 24, 25 budget forms have been distributed to all the department managers. And so they have a month to work on that and get them back to me, and we'll be in full swing of the new budget season. Yay. Yay. <laughs> That's all. Thank you. Okay. No, no public comments? Any old business? Any new business? 
Zipping right along. Okay, ordinances. Ordinances on for second reading, Bill number 2024-05, an ordinance to amend the definition of family as provided in Herman Municipal Code section 420.010. This is second reading. Do I have a motion to approve? Move to approve 2024-05, second read. Motion has been made. Do I have a second? I'll second. Motion is made and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? <coughs> so carried. Next is bill number 2024-06 for second reading. An ordinance to amend chapter 420 of the Herman Municipal Code to address adult use marijuana. This is second reading. Do I have a uh, motion to approve this? I'll move to approve bill number 2024-06 as second read. Motion has been made. Do I have a second? Second. Motion is made and second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? So carried. Next is bill number 2024-07 for second reading. In ordinance to amend Herman Municipal Code Section 42670 regarding parking requirements for certain lodging establishments. Again, this is second reading. Do I have a motion to approve? I move to approve Bill 2024-07, second read. Motion has been made. Do I have a second? Second. Motion is made and second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? So carried. Next is Bill number 2024-08 on for second reading. An ordinance enacting a moratorium on the issuance of the use of permits for guest houses and bed and breakfast inns. This is also second reading. Do I have a motion to approve? I move to approve Bill 2024-08, second read. Motion is made. Do I have a second? Second. Motion is made and second on paper. Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So carried. <coughs> Next is bill number 2024-09 for second reading. In ordinance to approve a mutual aid agreement between the City of Herman, Missouri and the Missouri Public Utility Alliance. Second reading, do I have a uh, motion to approve? Second reading. I'll move to approve bill number 2024-09 as second read. Motion is made, do I have a second? Second. Motion made and second on favor aye. Aye. Any opposed? So carried. Bill number 2024-10 for second reading. An ordinance to approve a municipal services and material contract between the City of Herman, Missouri and Bruni Electric, Inc. for the purchase and installation of an emergency generator at City Hall. Do I have a motion to approve second reading? Make a motion. Bill number 2024-10, second read. Motion has been made to have a second. <coughs> I'll second. Motion made and second. All in favor, right? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Carried. Next is bill number 2024-11, which is an ordinance to revise Herman Municipal Code section 420.730 regarding the revocation of conditional use permits. Any discussion or questions? If not, do I have a motion to approve? Move bill number 2024-11, first read. Motion has been made. Do I have a second? Second. No. Motion has been made second. And all in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? <coughs> so carried. Next is bill number 2024-12, an ordinance to amend ordinance number 2351 regarding the budget for fiscal year 2023-2024. Any questions on this one? If not, do I have a motion to approve? I'll move to approve bill number 2024-12 as first read. Motion has been made. Do I have a second? I'll so, second. Motion is made and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? So carried. We need to read that a second time. Thank you. Bill number 2024-12 in ordinance to amend ordinance number 2351 regarding the budget for fiscal year 2023-2024. Second reading. Do I have a motion to approve? We have 2024 S12, second read. Motion has been made. Do I have a second? I'll second. Motion is made and second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? So carried. Next, bill number 2024 13, an ordinance to approve an agreement between the City of Herman, Missouri, and Fourier Outdoor Advertising Company for a promotional billboard sign. 
Yeah. 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 Ye
um, without any lot lines. This will actually take the assessor's parcel map, overlay it on our planning, on our zoning map, and so we'll have very identifiable parcels and measurements to go by, which will be a huge um, advancement. Very good. Any other questions? So this is utilizing that software that Jesse was talking the about. Software with software the software that's already had. Yeah, mapping. yeah. So good purchase. It's, absolutely was so that this becomes affordable. Okay. Do I have a motion to approve? I'll move to approve bill number 2024-16 as first read. Do I have a second? I'll second. Motion made the second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? So carried. That also needs to be read the second time. Bill number 2024-16 for second reading. An ordinance to approve a task order from CM Archer Group PC doing business as Archer Elgin <coughs> to update the city's zoning map. I have a motion to approve second reading. I move to approve Bill 2024-16 second read. Motion is made. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? So carried. That ends. We move on to resolutions. The resolution for tonight is number 1340, a resolution to describe facts and reasons for a necessary amendment to the city's budget for fiscal year 2023-2022. This is just sort of a, a legal housekeeping quirk that whenever you pass a budget amendment ordinance, you are also to pass a resolution describing the facts and reasons for the necessary amendment, even though the facts and reasons are already in the ordinance. We'll right on. We have a motion to approve resolution. Move to approve resolution 1340. Do I have a second? I'll second. Motion made and second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right. We will move on to motions. <clears throat> I have a motion to approve our minutes from the last meeting. I move to approve the January 22nd, 2024 minutes. Motion has been made. Do I have a second? Second. Motion being second, all in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? So carried. I need a motion to pay the bills. I move that we pay the bills. That's lots of bills. I have a motion to pay the bills. Do I have a second? Second. Motion made and second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? So carried. I can see approved the destruction of records in accordance with the state retention law. Any questions on that? Yeah, some annual housekeeping. We try to uh, rotate right. out the old year every year. Do I have a motion to uh, get rid of the old paperwork? Make a motion to destroy. Motion to be made. Do I have a second? I'll second. <clears throat> motion made and second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Uh, any opposed to that? Carried. Okay, we need to uh, approve a bid for $40,000 from MRPC for the comprehensive plan update. Any discussion? Uh, can I ask, uh, Ms. Grineman, the, are you satisfied with this proposal? Yes, we'll, we'll accept it. So this is, um, you all had asked us to go back to MRPC and see if they could pare <coughs> down uh, the original bid they gave us of $55,000. So we, we did that, we had a meeting with them, Dolores was there, um, and so they did by $15,000, they got it down to 40, and so they're just kind of, they took the timeline down from 20 years to 10 years, and basically just kind of reduced the depth of analysis and mapping, um, and, and that's what they came up with, 40,000. Right. And this is just this is just the bid tonight, approving the bid. Um, once we approve, if we approve the bid, then MRPC will prepare a contract for us, which we will then approve by ordinance. So in ten years, we're going to need to spend another forty thousand. Just seems like a ton. Well, we won't have to. We won't. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> seems like a lot of money, and I'm just not entirely sure that I can see $40,000 worth of use to the city with for this. But. When was our last one done? It was 30 years ago. I think isn't this part of the qualifications too to have a comprehensive plan in place? 
go towards grants? And we have to check a box on federal grants saying that we have a comprehensive plan. We have a very old one, so we've been checking the box. But that's about but it. But I think with the uh, ten-year time frame, I actually like the ten-year time frame because of the looming port authority. Who knows what the landscape's going to look like in ten years? No, I agree with that. Better than twenty, I think. Yes. Okay. Any other discussion? Do I uh, have a motion to approve the bid? I move to approve the bid. The motion has been made. Do I have a second? Second. The motion is made. Second. All in favor, aye. 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 Any opposed? <coughs> so carried. We approve. I me approve the low bid for $14,475.84 from Arkansas Electric Cooperatives for the Missouri River Bridge LED bulbs. Okay. So I quizzed Jesse on this today, because um, that sounds like a lot of money. <laughs> it is. It is. And I'm sorry? For light bulbs? For light bulbs, yes. So um, they are, we have problems with the bulbs going out on the bridge. And he and the company suspect that because there's a filament in there that the vibrations make them go out. Um, so he would like to replace them with LED lights just like we did downtown. It'd be the exact same bulb. So it, it's not going to be that obnoxious white. Um, it's not going to be the dingy old yellow. It's going to be kind of a nice warm in between. Um, and they're, they're supposed to um, last for 10 years. Um, and they have a 10 year, they have a 10 year warranty on them. And um, he says that he was going to crunch the numbers, but I didn't get them today. But he thinks that they'll pay for themselves in four years. Um, because they save a lot of money, they use way less energy. Um, and then you can, those lights, you can adjust the brightness on them up and down, just like the ones downtown, which is a nice feature too. But this was a budgeted, this was a budgeted item. Okay. Any other so, questions? So sure. we own the light poles, but they own the railing, right? The state owns the railing, I know that for sure. I don't know who owns the light poles. I know we're responsible for the lights. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do I have a... The lights, sorry. The lights were probably an enhancement that the city at one point along the line agreed to be responsible for in exchange for the tens of millions for the bridge structure itself. It's usually how that works. So that means they'll paint it then. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, they, 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 will. Going, they told the mayor to. it was on the 2024. Yeah, supposedly, it's yeah. on this year's budget yeah. to paint the railings. I pushed for that last year, and, and they, they, they said yeah. it was going to happen, so keep our fingers crossed that it happens. So, anyway. Okay. Oops. Excuse me. Do we have a uh, motion to approve the light bulb? I'm going to do approve. Motion's been made. Do I have a second? Second. Motion made. Second on the paper, right? Aye. Any opposed? <coughs> okay. I appoint Chad Walton to the Greater Montgomery Port Authority Board. May have any discussion? Any questions? Do I have a motion to appoint Chad? I move to appoint Chad. Motion has been made. Do I have a second? Second. Motion has been made. Second all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So carried. Congratulations, Chad, and thank you. <laughs> okay. Reappoint uh, John Fleming, John Buckner, and Clark Ganser to the Tree Commission. Make a motion to approve. Motion has been made. Do I have a second? I'll second. Motion made and second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Appoint Stan Stevens to the Tree Commission. Make a motion to approve. Motion has been made. Do I have a second? I'll second. Motion is made and second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? So carried. Hire Dustin Tolke as full-time police officer. I mean, I pronounced that properly. But. Yeah, so Chief is here, but we're, we're pretty excited about that. Dustin had worked for us um, before, and so he'll be able to come in with minimal training and just start taking over a shift and bring some relief to the department. Uh, yeah, and fill one of our voids. Um, can I ask how many positions were still down, Chief? Uh, still down one. It's one. 
So we thought for a while there that we were going to be even in a bigger bind. We had somebody um, on long-term disability, and then we had uh, somebody else who was applying for another job. So we thought we were going to be in a major crunch for a while, but crisis averted. <laughs> Thank goodness. This is a good thing. So do I have a motion to uh, approve? I make a motion to approve the hiring of Dustin Kelke as full-time police officer. Motion has been made. Do I have a second? Second. Motion made and second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? So carry. Item J, special event application for the Brush and Pendle Club Arts and Crafts Festival Middle School, October 12th and 13th, 2024. We have a motion to approve that. I'll move to approve the uh, Brush and Pendle Club's application. Motion's been made. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? <laughs> One thing I forgot to mention in marriage report, I just want everybody to be aware that uh, you'll see the flashing signs that they're, MoDOT is doing curb, ADA compliant curbing <coughs> through our town on First Street and Market Street, so be alert for all the orange jackets and don't drive <coughs> into one of the holes. <coughs> all right, we have no reports. Do I have a motion to adjourn? I so move. Motion has been made. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? We are adjourned. Thank you, everyone, for watching and being here. We appreciate y'all. Nice to do that. <laughs> <laughs>